For the transformation t from R4 to R4, defined by t of vector v equals matrix A times vector v, where matrix A is given, we want to determine if the transformation is both one to one and onto, onto not one to one, one to one not onto, neither one to one nor onto. Given matrix A, the easiest way to determine whether the transformation is one to one or onto is to write the transformation matrix in row echelon form or reduced row echelon form and determine the pivots. If the matrix has a pivot in every column, the transformation is one to one. If it doesn't, it's not. And if the matrix has a pivot in every row, the transformation is onto. If it doesn't, it's not. Notice below, I've already written the matrix in reduced row echelon form, where we have a pivot in row one, column one, row two, column two, as well as row three, column three. Notice in this case, we do not have a pivot in every column, and therefore the transformation is not one to one. We also do not have a pivot in every row, and therefore the transformation is also not onto. We select neither one to one nor onto. So let's take a look at a second example. Same question, different matrix A. So again, we want to write the matrix in either row echelon form or reduced row echelon form and identify the pivots. I've already written matrix A in reduced row echelon form. We can see we have a pivot in row one, column one, row two, column two, row three, column three, and row four, column four. Notice here we have a pivot in every column and therefore the transformation is one to one. And we also have a pivot in every row and therefore the transformation is also onto. And therefore we select both one to one and onto. Knowing a matrix transformation is onto and one to one tells us a lot of information about the matrix transformation. So you may want to pause the video here and review the properties of one to one transformations as well as the properties of onto transformations. I hope you found this helpful.